everyone, my name is Susana Treviño and I'm coming to you from the Children's Museum Houston. I am one of the Basics Houston educators here and today we're going to share with you about one of our programs that can give your child a great start in life. The Basics Houston Fun Shops are parent and child workshops developed in partnership with the Houston Health Department that focus on five fun and powerful ways to build your baby's brain. Did you know the first three years can have the most impact on your child's learning? 80% of brain development happens in the first three years. That is why it is so important to learn the basics. One of the five basics is maximize love, manage stress. It talks about how babies thrive when their world feels loving, safe, and predictable. During this time, we have been encouraged to distance ourselves from others, but we must remember that does not include our little ones. Children need our affection, our hugs, and reassurance that all will be okay. Today, we will be reading a lovely story and extend on our reading with a cozy activity. But first, we invite you to watch the basic Houston video on Maximize Love, Manage Stress. How do children learn to love? Babies thrive when the world feels loving, safe, and predictable. So when we say maximize love, we're talking about the things that you can do to help your baby feel loved, happy, and safe. Can I have a hug? I don't think that you can give too much love. You can't really spoil a kid with love. Wrapping her allows me to be hands-free, and it also shows her that um, I love her, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> she appears for me now. The simplest way to maximize love is to express affection. Ah! Hugging and cuddling, Yay! smiling and laughing, oh. playing silly games together. <laughs> These are all ways to communicate how much you love them. <laughs> Other ways are by encouraging and showing excitement when they try something new or difficult. Good job. We love giving her hugs and kisses. You should give kids all the love and affection they need. <laughs> giving her that teaches her a lot about emotions. It also teaches them about the give and take of communication. Good job. I need a hug. You need a hug? OK. Respond to your child's sounds, gestures, and facial expressions. If you pay attention, you will learn what your baby is trying to signal. Oh my goodness, oh yeah. Having standard oh, daily routines mm. is a way to make the world feel predictable for your child, <laughs> and it's also a way to manage your own stress. We always try to make sure they both know what is gonna happen next. There are things that we do every day. At bedtime, we read a book, we brush teeth. Right. Those things happen the same way each day. Routines help your child know what to expect. They can be comforting. They can also help <laughs> with transitions. She'll have her bath time, and then after, she'll have her bottle. So she knows that's when we'll go to bed. If I come home and Dom is stressed, I try to take on that stress. Because yeah. I can say to her, like, let me help you out. Let me control this. Stress is just a part of life. <laughs> Some stress is normal and even important because it helps children learn how to cope with stress that they're likely to experience in the future as part of their everyday lives. Being loving and responsive are ways to help your child to cope with and ultimately recover from the stresses of everyday life. The point is not to be stress-free. The point is for you and your child to survive those moments of stress, to overcome them, and to continue toward being your best self. I'm gonna have a very honest moment. I am yeah, stressed right. a lot. But I think one thing I've learned is to get out every day and to just let it go. Because the relationship is so close, your own mm -hmm. feelings can affect your child's feelings. So it's important to take care of yourself. One of the best ways to feel at peace and to manage your own stress is just to hold a baby close. There are times when I get stressed, but I also think about what a great gift this is. Ultimately, nothing in life is more important or more rewarding 
than the bond of love between a parent and a child. <laughs> Cherish your child and take care of yourself. That's the message. They are my reward. These cute little faces. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that boo boo. I can't wait for them to be able to give mommy a kiss back. As we just heard in the video, children need to feel loved, happy, and safe. Encourage your little ones and give them lots of affection. Hug your babies and toddlers every day and tell them how much you love them. Warmth in the parent-child relationship is related to higher self-esteem, better parent-child communications, and fewer behavioral problems. We also encourage families to set up a routine. This provides comfort and helps your child feel safe and know what to expect next. A great way to manage everyday stress, express love to your child, and help build your baby's brain is through reading. Reading to your child is a one-on-one -on -one activity that can really turn into a special bonding time for you and your baby. Today's book is Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. The story is about how a baby llama is feeling anxiety as he is away from his mother. The fear and stress of not knowing if she's coming back. Let's begin. Llama Llama Red Pajama by Anna Dudney. Llama Llama Red Pajama reads a story with his mama. Mama kisses baby's hair. Mama Llama goes downstairs. Say like, bye. Llama Llama Red Pajama feels alone without his mama. Baby Llama wants a drink. Mama's at the kitchen sink. What is she doing? She looks like she's washing some dishes. Llama Llama Red Pajama calls down to his llama mama. Mama says she'll be up soon. Baby llama hums a tune. Llama Llama Red Pajama waiting, waiting for his mama. Mama isn't coming yet. Baby llama starts to fret. Llama Llama Red Pajama whimpers softly for his mama. Mama Llama hears the phone. Baby Llama starts to moan. Llama Llama Red Pajama listens quietly for his mama. What is Mama Llama doing? Baby Llama starts boo-hooing. Llama Llama Red Pajama hollers loudly for his mama. Mama! Baby Llama stomps and pouts. Baby Llama jumps and shouts. Llama Llama Red Pajama in the dark without his mama. Eyes wide open, covers drawn. What if Mama Llama's gone? Llama Llama Red Pajama weeping, wailing for his mama. Will his mama ever come? Mama Llama, run, run, run! Here she comes running all the way to my baby Llama's room. Baby Llama, what a tizzy. Sometimes Mama Llama's busy. Please stop all this baby llama drama and be patient for your mama. Little llama, don't you know? Mama llama loves you so. Mama llama's always near, even if she's not right here. Llama llama red pajama gets two kisses from his mama. Snuggles, pillow, soft and deep. Baby llama falls asleep. The end. Wow, that was such a lovely story. Now let's join my partner Belkies with an extension activity on maximized love, managed stress. 
Hello everyone, my name is Belkis Hernandez. I am one of the basics Houston educators. At this moment, we are in that spot in the Children's Museum Houston to share with you an idea to help your children comfort as they are learning to soothe themselves during moments of stress. Through this activity called Cozy Comfort, we will create a security blanket for your little ones or for baby llama like the one he has in the story a colorful and soft piece of cover to help children feel calm when they are away from their parents. For this activity we will need construction paper or cardstock, fabric with different textures, scissors and glue. What parents will do first is cut out the different fabrics into small squares. Then, you and your child place the squares onto the cardstock or construction paper surface. You can add the glue and ask your child to put the fabric squares or vice versa. As you and your child place the squares onto the sheet, ask your children what makes them feel better. Sometimes, our children feel the same way Baby Lama was feeling when they are not with us. These fears are natural and in some ways important because they help children learn how to cope with the stress that they will most likely experience in the future. One way to support our children to cope with this kind of stress is having with them a familiar blankie like this one, a favorite toy or even a shirt that belongs to mommy or daddy. Ideal parent-child relationships have secure attachment an emotional connection based on confidence in each other. This special bond provides your kids with an optimal foundation for life. It facilitates learning, builds healthy emotional regulations, and develops positive self-esteem and high social skills. We hope you have loved this cozy activity. See you next time. That is a wonderful idea, Belkies. One of the hardest things for parents is when their baby cries when they leave. This can be just as stressful for parents as it is for their babies. You see, babies still do not quite understand that their parent is coming back. That reminds me of one of our activities we have at our Basics Houston Fun Shops called Where Is It? For this activity, we use blankets and rattles or toys. We encourage parents to play a peekaboo game or help their babies practice the concept of object permanence. Object permanence is the understanding that objects exist even if they cannot be seen, heard, touched, or smelled. Practicing this skill will help your baby feel less afraid when they are not able to see you and helps reassure them that you will be back. Peekaboo and hide and seek games will help your baby understand the world around them. Discovering the rhythm of social interaction and learning to anticipate what may happen next. Let's join our partner Tiffany and her family as they show us a fun way to perform one of the games most played by parents and children all over the world. Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany. Thank you for joining us for this exciting hide and seek game. Searching for objects helps children understand the concept of object permanence. If you have older toddlers, it also provides a, an opportunity to use positioning words like over, under, on and behind. So let's get started. Okay, let's get Martin the dinosaur. Where is he? It's here sniffing with his tail moving. He's moving his tail. Yeah. All right, so I am going to hide Martin. You're going to have your eyes closed. So close your eyes, and when you open them, we'll all have him hidden somewhere. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, let's see. Where is Martin? Where's the dinosaur? Where is he? And see Where is he? There he is! Where is he? Right is there! He, is he, was he on the blanket? Or under the blanket? Behind the blanket? Or in front of the blanket? Where was Martin? Under was, the blanket! He was under the blanket, that's right! All right, let's try again. All right, good job. Give yourself a hand. All right, now close your eyes. Now, where will Martin go now? Close your eyes. <laughs> no cheating. 
Okay, where's Martin? In the box. In the box. He's inside the box. Good job, give me a hug. You did a good job. You used your words. Yeah. All right, the most important part is through this activity, we can enjoy our children's smiles and laughter and excitement as it helps develop our baby's brains. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. All right, I have here Olivia. Olivia the sheep. And mommy is going to hide the sheep. Okay. okay. And you're going to close your eyes. And then when you open them good, you're going to guess where she is. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Close them. <laughs> Where is Oli Where is Olivia? On top. On top of what? The table. She's on top of the table. Good job. Okay. And now I'm just gonna hide her again. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, where is Olivia? Under the chair. She's under the chair? Yes. Wait a minute. Is she under the chair? And no, she's on top of the chair. She's on top of the chair or she is in the chair, right? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, let's see. Where can you hide Olivia? Um, under. Can you hide her from mommy? Don't let mommy know, okay? <laughs> Mommy's gonna close her eyes and you're gonna say, Are you ready, mommy? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> Are you ready, mommy? I'm ready. Okay, it, it, Don't it. tell me where it is. Okay. Where is Olivia? Um, She's not on the table. Where did, not... you... <gasps> Where did you put Olivia, the sheep? Where did you put her? Behind you. You put her behind me? <laughs> That's so funny. Good job. <laughs> All right. I was not expecting you to put her behind me. Okay, let's see. Can you want to hide her again? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm ready. Okay, she's not behind me. Ready? She's under. She put Olivia where? Under. Under what? The chair. Under the chair. Good job. Okay. Now let's see. Now you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Where is Olivia? I did her. Where? I did her. Where is right there? Where is that? Olivia. Where is she? Where is she? Is she on top of something? Is she under something? Is she behind something? In front of something? Where is she? Under something. Under what? The, the table. She's under the tablecloth, right? There she is. Good job. Hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. We can play hide and seek while we do the laundry together. <laughs> do you want to try? Yes. All right. All right. So you're going to close your eyes and mommy's going to hide the sheep. And when you open your eyes, then you have to tell mommy where the sheep is. Okay. okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Open your eyes. Where is the sheep? Hmm. <laughs> Inside the pillow. Is that the pillowcase? Mm -hmm. Can you take her out? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, there she is. Meh. Inside the pillowcase. Look at this pillowcase. It's, it's a nest. It's like a nest. Mm -hmm. Do sheep? 
Sit, sit in the nest? Yeah. <laughs> That's a silly sheep. I think that the sheep thinks it's a bird. Yes. <laughs> That's right. All right. We hope you've enjoyed our game. See you soon. Can you say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye-bye. Tips to maximize love, manage stress. With your infant, zero to 12 months, hold, kiss, and cuddle. Provide lots of loving attention and touch. Babies don't get spoiled, so there's no need to hold back on showing love. Respond to them. Answer your baby in a loving voice when they make a sound or movement. Play together. Hold your baby close, smile, and make silly sounds or faces. Play games like peekaboo. Take a break if they seem overwhelmed or try to look away. Comfort them. Comfort your baby when they get fussy or cry. They might be tired, hungry, or uncomfortable. Try rocking them or singing a lullaby. It will take time to learn what works best. Have a routine. Have consistent times and ways of doing daily activities like feeding, bathing, reading, and bedtime. Routines help babies and young children feel safe and know what to expect. They also help adults manage stress. With your toddler, 12 to 36 months, snuggle up. Hug and cuddle with your toddler so they feel safe and loved. Encourage them. Be supportive and encouraging when your child tries new things. Involve them. Invite your toddler to help with everyday tasks, like handing you clothes for the laundry. Offer choices. Offer choices like what to wear or eat, but give a limited number of options. For example, it's time for a snack. Do you want apples or grapes? Set basic limits. Focus on safety related rules like not hitting people. Put no in front of the thing you don't want your child to do. Then distract them with another activity. Use the same rules consistently so your child learns them. Do your best to stay calm. Talk about feelings. Help your child describe how they feel. Let them know that all feelings are okay and that you are there for them when they are happy or upset. Practice naming emotions. Talk about emotions and feelings as your baby laughs or cries. Say, I see you smiling, you must be happy. Or, I see you have a pouty face, are you feeling sad? It is important for children to be able to put names to their emotions and have an explanation of what they're feeling. Through this activity called Reflecting Emotions, you can practice making different faces into a mirror and giving each facial expression a name. To help me show you how it works, we are having Ms. Belkis join us. Let's begin. My first face is... Are you happy, Gisela? Yes, I'm happy. Well, you look happy. Now my second face is going to be... <gasps> hmm. Are you surprised? Yes, I'm surprised. Very good. I think now it's your turn, Miss Belkis. Yes. Now my first face is... Are you uh, sleepy, Miss Belkis? Yes. You're sleepy? Yes, good oh, job. Okay. Mm. Now, try this. You look sad. Are you sad? Mm -hmm. No. Are you disappointed? Yes. I'm disappointed. I'm so sorry. You're right. Take care of yourself. When life gets stressful, it's important to take care of yourself so you can be there for your child. Try sharing tasks with friends or family members, taking walks, doing a hobby you enjoy, or practicing deep breathing. Try different strategies and see what works best for you. Be sure to ask for help when you need it and talk to your doctor if you often feel sad or stressed. All parents and caregivers need help. The way we interpret and respond to our children's needs and feelings has major impact on their life. Being caring and responsive will help your child feel loved, happy, safe, and cope with stress. Let's join our friends on the Top Tooths Band as they help us to understand a little bit more about emotions through music. 
So the first song we're going to sing for you is called Mama. And it's all about just it being okay to have different kinds of feelings. So I hope you guys enjoy and here it is. enjoyed today's basic Houston learning, we would like to thank our sponsors, the Episcopal Health Foundation and Fox 26 My 20 for this program. See you next time!